Hi, Fire Signs. Welcome to your weekly energy reading for January 6th through the 12th. Aries, Leo, and Sag. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So, Aries, Leo, Sag, Fire. We're going to take a look at love, 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 life, and advice for you for the week of 6th through the 12th. This may not come into fruition in the upcoming week, or it may just be uh, um, energies, messages you need to hear right now. So only take what resonates and throw away the rest. Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Venus, Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Welcome, welcome. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy New Year. So let's see what's going on for the Fire Signs. January 6th through the 12th. 6 through the 12th at this time. Fire signs. All your um, playlists, individual playlists for all the fire signs, individual, are below in the description box if you'd like to check out my channel if you're new. Lots of stuff down there, decks I'm using, social media, um, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to send a gift, tip, donate, a lot of stuff down there, so please feel free to check it out. So let's see what's going on with you and love. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. 36 is 9. 9 can be a single independent energy. It can also be an energy of wish fulfillment, dreams coming true. Um, can also be 9s usually almost at the end of something because you would get 10. 10 is an ending. 1 is a new beginning. So, And then we have on the bottom of the deck here, 1. So there's 1, the new beginning. Listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said to you, but need to listen with a loving heart. So some need to have a loving heart here to listen to love and turn on their hot light. Some are not. Some, I feel, have closed off their heart to love, to new love, to love in general. Um, not opening their heart in a loving, compassionate way. Just kind of like closed off. But I did say nine. We have nine here. And then 10, 10 would be an ending, one, a new beginning. And if you add nine and one, you get the 10. And then 10 equals one, a new beginning. So some may have gone through an ending here, but they're reluctant to start anything new um, in the love department because they're kind of uh, blocked off. Their heart is blocked off to love. So we're going to clarify everything here with tarot. So let's see. Let's get life now for the fire signs. What's going on in life for the fire signs? Six through the twelfth. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Okay. So we have here Chimera. And this is fire. So I'm going to read from the book uh, from this. With this here. So we have Chimera. I think that's how you say it. Fire. And now we have fire against scorpion. So we got two fire uh, energies here. Which is fitting because... This is for the fire signs. So I'll clarify those uh, with tarot. And I'll read a little bit from the book, just a little bit of a meaning for those before I clarify them. And that is for your life. This is your advice. Your advice. Thank you, everybody, uh, for supporting the channel. Whether you've tipped, donated, sent a gift, reach out for personal reading, or you're a new subscriber. However you've uh, supported the channel, I truly, truly appreciate it. Couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you. All right, so what's the advice for the fire signs 6 through the 12th? Thank you so much, Spirit. This deck, this deck is big, so let's take that one. So we have, I just got this, you know, I just got that for the earth sign, so I don't feel comfortable taking that. So we got two here, so we'll take this one. So we got Frogmouth, Secret Keeper, 17 is 8. 8 is usually about taking action. Um, travel, communication, taking action, secrets, someone keeping secrets. And then we have 30 here, which is Grace, Black Swan. And three is about teamwork, collaboration, people coming together, expanding, growth, knowledge. All right, so let's clarify here with the love department. Listen with your heart, turn on your hot light. I think some are oh, being very closed off to just love in general. All right, so let's see what's going on with the fire signs. I do ask fire signs. If you're new, you can check out my channel. You like what you see. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. Love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. I offer a lot of readings, so you can check out 
what I have to offer. And if you do, thank you so much. So what's going on here in love for the fire signs? So let's see, we have the fool. So it's taking a leap of faith, a new start. Eight of cups. Yeah, walking away from something here. But then you have a commitment here with the faith card, which is the hierophant. So it's about commitment, marriage. Some here may have walked away from a marriage or a long-term commitment. And, you know, starting fresh, starting new with the full energy. Page of coins. Solid offer here. Learning something new. Five of coins, being left out in the cold. And then the king of cups. So, some, you know, maybe this is the energy of listen to, with your heart and turn on your heart light. Um, I do feel like some here have left a relationship or a commitment or a marriage here. Eight of Cups walked away from that. Faith, commitment. Fool, fresh start. New leap of faith. Jumping right in. You got the page of, you know, the five of coins feeling abandoned, left out in the cold. So definitely with the Eight of Cups there, walking away, leaving something, not serving you. But you got the page of coins. So this could be communication, a solid offer or something like that. Something new, something in the early stages. King of Cups, so emotions. I feel like for some of you, if you're if you have feelings for somebody new, you may want to offer them something, but you're not sure how to do it. You're not sure if it'd be accepted. You don't want to be left out in the cold again. Kind of afraid to take that uh, leap of faith. But the energy is all here for that. Uh, if you can turn on your heart light and listen to your heart, because it says listen with your heart, but I feel like listening to your heart, you got your intuition, your higher knowing. Um, so the King of Cups knows how they feel. They um, are very mature with their feelings. So some of you here could be extending out an offer to somebody. A little scared, a little bit afraid, because maybe you just left something, you know, within the past year or something like that. And you're a little bit afraid. But there are feelings and emotions here with the King of Cups. King or Queen, doesn't matter. Wanting to extend out that page of coins, some sort of, sort of small offer but a little bit scared uh, doing that. So we have here, I just want to read, um, we got Chimera, Chimera here um, with fire energy, which is, if I can find it. Compromise between opposites, balance, finding a way to bring it all together, creativity. So they, this is like a combination of two animals. It has like a lion and it has a, a goat or something like that. So it's like a combination of two animals. Um, so needing to compromise here. And then you've got scorpion, vengeance, the unexpected, harsh enlightenment, intensity, karma. And then you've got the Magician here clarifying that. So, all right, so let's see. Whoops. And you have the King of Swords. So very open, honest, truthful communication here. Having clarity, uh, peace of mind, knowing what you want to manifest moving forward. Queen of Cups being in a very loving, King Queen doesn't matter, being in a loving, compassionate energy. Self-love, self-worth, spiritual enlightenment, intuition. Coin, uh, three points, so could be working with other people, learning something new. Knight of Coins, moving forward very slowly, stable, secure kind of energy. Two knights here, Knight of Coins, Knight of Wands. So you got the fiery, passionate energy wanting to move forward quickly, but then you got the Knight of Coins, which is very slow. It's the slowest knight. You got three knights. The, oh, the Knight of Swords, not the King. You got the Knight, Knight, Knight. You got three knights here. Knight of Swords usually rushes in recklessly. And then you got the Knight of Coins, Coins, which is very, very slow, practical approach. And the Knight of Wands, very fiery, passionate, determined energy. So you got three knights here. Wow. And but then you got the Queen of Cups and the Magician. So manifesting, learning something new. Wanting, it may be um may need to slow down your energy a little bit because you may be trying to rush ahead too quickly or rush something too quickly. And you need to make more practical um decisions. Um, movement forward as you're learning something new or working with other people 
or something like that, or you know, manifesting that new beginning, being more in a peaceful, loving, compassionate energy. Because that scorpion there can talk, talk about harsh energy is the Knight of Swords, can be that harsh um, energy. So I just want to read that one more time. So the scorpion can be vengeance, the unexpected harsh enlightenment and intensity in karma. So I feel like if you moved forward too fast, it's gonna, like, just going to like turn around and bite you in the butt. So <laughs> I think you need to take a more passionate, more practical approach no matter how passionate you are or no matter how quickly you want to manifest this new beginning that you're working on, trying to master something new here. You need to compromise your energies here because it says balance. So you need to find your balance between your passion, your reckless energy, and your practicality. Work bringing because you got the three of coins, so it's like taking those three energies and mastering them all together as you manifest forward and being in a more loving, nurturing, caring uh, kind of energy. All right, that's that seemed like a lot. So, okay, so your advice over here is secret keeper and grace. So, that secret keeper is 17. So, I just want to read a little bit about that. Um, Seek out to seek out the secrets being held in trust by your elders. Approach them with respect and ask them to share their sacred knowledge. So that's about um, learning like the secrets of life, love, life advice, uh, wisdom, uh, and that kind of energy. So the secrets of life and wisdom and things of that nature by, you know, trusted people around you, your friends, family, co well, I don't want to say co-workers, but maybe just wise uh, advisors and grace and accepting that um, with grace and dignity and appreciation, whatever advice they give you. All right. So it could be about anything. It could be about love here. It could be about your life, getting advice from others. So, oh, my deck is upside down. So we got the page of wands, but it was upside down. So the page of wands can be good news, but it's in reverse. So I feel like oh, it can be passionate uh, communication, exciting new communication or good news. So I don't know. Let's see what this is about. You know, I'm going to put it back because my deck was upside down. So we got the seven of swords. Ooh, that's the hermit. So. Okay, I'm going to put it back because this is making sense now. So there might have been something here that happened around you recently. Could have been a friend, a co-worker, family member where they did something deceitful. They hurt you. They lied. They betrayed you in some way. You found out some bad news about somebody that they did this or that. And they really, um, someone you trusted or something like that. And it really took you by surprise with the hermit energy. So you had to like really think about this, like what just happened they did what? They said what? They whatever here. So maybe you're needing advice uh, about this situation. Four of Swords. Yeah. So you got the Four of Swords and the Hermit. So two energies here are retreating, going within, trying to figure this out. Yeah, Tower moment. So could have been a fight, argument, or you like got this big shock that somebody did something to you, against you, betrayed you or something, said a lie about you. I don't know, something here. Four cups. Yeah, you're feeling bored and complacent about this now. Like, well, I thought they were my friend or a trusted co-worker or a family member. And now we have this big disruption. Now I'm retreating, thinking about this whole thing. And I'm just confused with four of cups and feeling like, ugh, I just don't know. So maybe your advice here is to seek out advice from your trusted people around you about what to do in the situation and accepting their advice um, their wisdom, their secrets, or whatever about life with grace and dignity and appreciation. And then you have the king of wands. So being in that fiery, passionate, uh, go-getter kind of energy, just doing what's right. And then you have the ace of coins, so a brand new beginning. Uh, prosperity, luck, abundance, growth expansion for the long term. And then you got the lovers here, so making wise decisions. Could be coming into union with the soulmate. And I figure, I feel over here... You have that energy of a soulmate or somebody that you have feelings for, but you're afraid and you're scared about taking this new leap of faith because you could have just closed something out and you are very scared about that. But we do have two cards here of soulmate, soulmate union, two of cups and the lovers, soulmate twin flame, but being a little confused about it 
but wanting to take action and justice. So like I said, some of you could have just been divorced or completed a um, long-term relationship because then we have the Ten of Wands laying down the burdens, ending something. Moving forward, though, being confused about a soul, possible soulmate here. But you do have prosperity and um, abundance coming in for you with the um, Ace of Coins, brand new beginning, being in your King of Wands, King or Queen Wands energy, doesn't matter. Very fiery, passionate energy here going after what you want. All right, fire sign. So best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings, and always, always shine your light.